Hi, I'm James, and in this lesson today we're going to look into the Maya Sun and Sky Shading. And what this does is it's a way in Mental Ray of setting up a few nodes to give a really quick and fast realistic sun and sky. And it's very easy to control and very easy to do. So to start off with, if we go into Windows, Setting and Preferences and Plugin Manager. Now, if you haven't got Mental Ray loaded up, this is how you can do it. If you've got Mental Ray installed in a different directory, you can go to Browse and search for the directory. Or on the default, it should just come up. And there's Maya to MR, which is Mental Ray. We'll click Loaded to, and that loads all the nodes and different things associated with Mental Ray. And there's Auto Load, which we can use if we want it to load itself every time we open Maya, if you're going to be using it a lot. So we can click Close. Now, if we go into the Render Options, now we can see under Render, we have Mental Ray, which you can set to. And this gives all these new little features here. So in this lesson, we're going to feature the sun and sky, which is found in indirect lighting. Now, indirect lighting is a way in, like, in nature where light bounces off a surface and hits another surface, and that's indirect lighting. It's not, it's not the light directly hitting an object. It's where it's transferred from another surface. So to get this sort of physical sun and sky, all we need to do is click Create. And the last time we had a fatal error, so hopefully it'll be fine. So we can go away and close that. So what we've got here is there's an on button if you want it on. There's a multiplier, which will multiply all the different values below. So set to one as default. There's loads of different things like haze, red shift, blue shift, saturation. Loads of things. Haze is like if you want the heat, like on a really hot day you'll have a haze. And I recommend not setting that too high because you get some wacky effects. So there's loads of different things. So to start off with, to show this off, and it also adds this little directional light in the middle of the scene. So because it's a directional light, it doesn't matter in its position, so we can move it about. All it matters in it is on its rotation. So to start off with, we'll just leave that there. Um, so to start off with, we'll just get a plane. What we're going to do is add a simple paint effects tree. So we'll scale this tree, this plane up. Go to paint effects. In here we'll get the visor. This isn't like the main thing we're going to cover in this lesson, so I'm just going to go up quick and get a tree. And paint a tree in there. Right, one thing about mental rays, it doesn't paint, it doesn't render paint effects, so what we need to do is modify, convert, and paint effects to polygon. There we go. So now this is a polygon object, so it should render in mental ray. Also, a new feature in Maya 2010, I think it was in 2009 as well, is this little shelf here with all these little cool tools. So we can add the resolution gate just to show what we're going to be rendering. So to start off with, it's this little directional light here is the only way that Maya is going to work out what you're getting the sun to come up. So this is the direction of the sun. So if you think about where the sun's coming from, this means it's coming straight up here. So that's like 12 o'clock midday. So if we aim this towards facing us, then what we should get is the sun in the distance, like on the horizon, going towards like dawn. So we can mess about with that. So first off, we'll just get a quick render like that. This may take a while because it's on my laptop as well. And there we go. All we've got in the scene at the moment is this plane and this tree. That's the only things we've created. When we clicked the Create Physical Sun and Sky, it's added this beautiful sky and all the lights. We've only got one light in the scene, as you can remember. So we'll click this button to save the image so it can keep it. And we'll just minimize that for the moment. So to really show the effectiveness of this, what we'll do is bring this right down. So this is pretty much where the sun is facing straight at us. And now when we re-render, what you should be able to get is the sun, as we can see, it's slowly trying to work it out. You can see the sun right in the distance there. And as you can see, there's the actual sun. We'll just um, 
So, as you can see, it's added the sun right there. So, we'll move that right there just to see if we can get the full effect of the sun. So, as you can see, like this is dawn, like or dusk even. And just by adding that one thing in the mental rate in direct lighting, it's added this directional light, added the sun, and added the sky. And that's a really, really good way of getting a nice day scene. Just very simply. So th that's the end of this short tutorial. In a few more tutorials, we'll go into more indirect lighting and a few more rendering techniques. So thanks for watching.